Hello everyone, I hope everything's going great for you. Um, I'm going to mess with the modal Argon 8 uh, and I'm going to talk about uh, kind of the bread and butter of wavetable synthesis. So um, first thing on this quick layout is the lower left, if I hit a note you'll see we have an oscilloscope running. Uh, top is the uh, left channel, middle is the right channel, bottom is frequency. So if I hit a low note you'll see it's lower on that line and the um, oscillator is larger waves. And if I go higher, you see it there. And if I um, add some harmonics, you'll see them go along the uh, frequencies because that's, that's how sound works. But um, what I want to do is I want to talk about uh, getting, getting more out of the wavetables that are built into the uh, Argon 8. Um, I'm, I'm finding it to be what I would describe as an intermediate uh, synthesizer. I believe that uh, it's super accessible, like out of the box. It's almost deceptive because everything's there and you can just start making sounds. Uh, it's, it's, it's very approachable. So that way it seems almost like a, um, a beginner's uh, synth. But, you know, after you get into it, there's actually quite a bit of um, kind of audio pyrotechnics, uh, as I would kind of describe it. And that that part of it I find to be a little more advanced and really cool. So um, anyway, I think it's uh, it's a really cool product. But let's um, let me jump into wave uh, tables. So one thing is how do you use wave tables? Well, you know a lot of people would say, oh, you scan back and forth with an LFO. But realistically, um, when you think of a sound, you know a lot of times an attack is a really common thing. Uh, to make a unique sound, like a pluck of a guitar or something like that. And so to me, I'm going to focus on using, uh, getting an attack sound out of wavetables. So the first thing I do is I usually uh, change my modulation envelope to look like this. I'm going to bring sustain down, add a little bit of decay, and that's basically it. So there's no attack, and there's some disc decay, and... Uh, a little bit of release. The release is tough to see on this, just so you see that line change. Uh, but it is important because that way um, it'll it'll flow over to that point. Um, so now when I hit a key, it's not going to sound any different, right? Because I haven't assigned it. So I'm going to click again, and that's going to blink. And I'm going to say, let's assign that to wave table, or yeah, wave one, and full depth, 64. So I'm done. Now, when I press a key, you're going to see an attack. And what it did was, it's pretty obvious, it started from the end of the wavetable to the beginning. Um, and let me show you what the wavetable looks like so you get that idea. So that, that's the sine wave at the beginning. And then as I go to the right, the end of the wavetable is a uh, sawtooth, which has lots of harmonics. So if you kind of watch the frequencies at the bottom, you'll see how it just kind of rolls over and then ends up with a single tone, um, which actually is a nice attack. So you could use, even though this is a really basic wavetable to begin with, it gives you something to work with. And what's really nice is that the envelopes um, are bipolar. You can use the envelope either positive or negative. So what I'm going to do is change the depth of my envelope to negative 63, and now I don't hear anything. So it's like, oh, what happened there? But that's because it doesn't have anything to work with. If I give it a little bit of room, if I go towards the middle, now you'll see it's going the other way. It's actually starting from the mellow and going to something more harsh. So, so that's a nice way to be able to use the wavetables, or the direction, excuse me, on the uh, envelope, is being able to change the, uh... so here, it's starting all the way to the right and then going to the point that you're at. And then when you reverse it, it's the opposite. It's, it's the beginning of the wavetable going to the point that you're at. So I find that to be a good way to kind of explore and find different attack sounds. So let's go ahead. Um, I haven't uh, rehearsed this, so I'm just going to explore and see if I can find an interesting sound. So um, this one, you know, to be honest, everybody's heard that if they've worked with synthesizers at all. So what I'm going to do is uh, set up a quick ARP. So I'm going to... I don't even know what that is, but let's hear it. Hear it. All right. I'm going to lock that in and slow it down. 
Okay, maybe like that. Okay, so now let me, um, I'm gonna increase the gate a little bit so we can hear the note. Okay. So I'm going to turn that off <laughs> just so you can hear me. So it was kind of loud. So I just did that with the amp envelope. Uh, let me add a little bit of decay so we can. Okay, and some release. There we go. Now, let's change wavetables. Remember, we're only working with wavetable one here. So I'm going to use shift and I'm going to change the next wavetable. Now right there, even without doing anything, you can already hear a very, very different tone. And we can change the uh, depth here of my mod envelope, remember? So right now it's positive 64, but you can dial that back. You can use like a really tiny piece of the wavetable to get something like that. So it's all about kind of exploring and just kind of, you could take a, how I didn't finish my sentence there. It's all about exploring and finding a piece of the wavetable that you like. That's, uh, that's the, the, I think the whole point of this really. So let me go back to that, that really bright plucky sound, which is kind of cool. And let's just keep going. There's, uh, there's a lot of wavetables. I think there's 24 base sets. So I'm gonna go through and, and take a look at this. Um, so let's switch to the next one. Very aggressive, right? Very bell-like. So we kind of went from a guitar Something really aggressive to bell like. Like a sitar almost. A little bit of organ in there, maybe. And very digital. So I'm not going to go through every single one of these because there's a lot of them. Like that one's cool. I like that. Well, I'm going to listen to them now just so I can find some. That's a really cool tone. Yeah, that's cool. That's very high. Resonance. I kind of like that one. I might try this one just to see if I can add distortion or something in there. So, um, challenge myself a little bit. All right. So let's so let's go ahead and go back and see. Okay. Now let's mess with this. So so we got this guy. Let me turn off the arp. It's just a little kind of little plucky sound. So now let's um, let's add in the other wave. So I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to add in gonna add in some phase modulation. And one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to use the mod envelope on the uh, oscillator mod. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to tell it to um, subtract the depth. So let me see if I can. So this should. To try to get something that's there we go something in that range okay so um the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring the os the tuning of that oscillator down lower so i can hear that see see here i have a second voice in there and i'm going to actually put the mix there we go Let's go ahead and add some distortion because that's what I wanted. Okay. I'm not going for analog here, I'm just exploring. But that has some harmonics to work with. So now, uh, one of the, I'm going to try to do a trick that I, that I like is I like to apply LFO2 to almost anything because it's audio rate and it's polyphonic, which I, which I love. And I did a whole video about that. So I'm going to apply LFO to the morph. And what's interesting about this, if I hold, let me get, let me make it so we can hear it. So you can see there's a huge swing in the harmonics because what this thing's doing is it's changing this uh, morph between high pass and low pass. Now let me bring this towards the middle. And you see what's just happening? So now it's tilting. So I'm gonna find a spot that I like, something like that. And now let's go ahead and go into audio rate with it. That might be too low. It's kind of cool. 
yeah, it's got some good, good body to it. And then I'll bring the sustain down. And let's go ahead and start our ARP again and see how it sounds. And we'll speed it up a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to um, thicken the sound. So I'm going to add in some drift. Right about there. And I'm going to um, stack it. Okay, so now I am going to uh, widen out the stereo. So now it's across both channels equally. And then I'm going to add in some, uh, some detune across the whole thing. So let me see, I'm going to add in another whoop, got to be careful. That's kind of interesting. That's kind of cool, actually. That's going lower. It's a little bit evil. All right, so. Kind of like that octave and a fifth. I'll just leave it there for a second. So, okay, so. Not the coolest sound I've ever made, but the, but the whole point The whole point of this is that you can just kind of explore and find a piece of a wavetable and uh, use that for an attack. And we didn't even use, you know, really the other the other wave, which is to pick something, you know, interesting, and then use that through one of the oscillator mods, like the phase mod, and then really change the waveform. So, with that, I am going to stop. And uh, I don't know if I could. All right, I'm going to mess around a little bit here. I want to see what this sounds like. Oh, it's got that fifth in it, so I don't know if it'll sound good for chords. That doesn't sound horrible. It sounds sound interesting. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and give it some, more of a gentle attack and then more release and see what we get. It wasn't my best chord. <laughs> It's not bad, actually. This this scent, the thing about it, the thing that has the character to it is that it's it's hard to describe. It's like it's like all the combinations of these oscillator and all these little changes kind of add up to a lot of harmonic uh, motion. I guess is probably the way I would describe it. So anyway, thank you very much. I'm going to stop there and um, take it easy. Enjoy the rest of your day.